In the late Carboniferous world, long before true pines appeared, the ancient forests were ruled by tall, graceful trees called chordates. These plants, rising up to 30 meters high, were among the earliest seed-bearing trees that foreshadowed modern conifers. Their long strap-shaped leaves swayed above vast coal swamps, while their woody stems and deep roots anchored them in the soft, waterlogged soil. Chordates reproduced using seeds enclosed in cone-like structures, a major step beyond the spore-based reproduction of earlier plants. Unlike ferns or lycophytes, they could spread across drier uplands, expanding the green frontier of the Paleozoic world. Within their tissues ran an advanced vascular system, allowing them to transport water efficiently and adaptation critical for life outside the swamp. Chordates were not just trees, they were ecological engineers, shaping new habitats for animals and laying down much of the plant material that later became coal. Eventually, as the Permian period unfolded and climates grew harsher, their lineage diversified and gave rise to true conifers, the ancestors of today's pines, cedars, and firs. Every evergreen forest on earth still carries a silent echo of chordates, the forgotten architects of the first coniferous world.